Geometry Math Prodigy, this is Coach Saifu with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to go into the question number one of your assessment paper, number 11. Now the first question is actually pretty simple, okay, all we have to understand is something called um, groups, okay, so let's take a look at the question, it says two similar books cost as much as three similar pens. If nine such pens cost $564, what is the cost of each book? Okay, so two similar books. Similar means what? Similar means the same. Okay, so two similar books cost as much as three similar pens. What does it mean when they say as much as? It means equal. So I can immediately write down two books. Oops, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Two books equals to, <coughs> excuse me, having a little something caught in my throat. Let me get a glass of water. Okay, so two books is equal to three pens. Okay, and they are asking us for nine pens. How much will uh, the books cost if there are nine pens? What is the cost of each book? Okay, so let's do this. Let's draw it out. First of all, we have two books. Okay, and two books is the same cost as three pens. One, two, and three. You can draw it very simple. Eh? So this equals to the same cost as this. So this is one group, and this is the same cost as this. Okay, then they ask us for nine pens. So that means now we have already three. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine. Now we have nine pens. That means logically, in terms of groups, we should have another. How many more groups? If we put these three pens into one group, that means we will have another two books in this group. And if we have another three pens in this group, that means we must also have another two more books in this group. So that means that altogether we have how many books? We have six books and nine pens. And they also tell us that if nine pens cost $564, okay? So this nine pens is equal to $564. Must be some expensive pen. <laughs> okay, $564 is the cost of 9 pens. That means how much does 1 pen cost? Okay, we don't know. And we don't even want to know that. We just want to know what is the cost of each book. That means this book. What is the cost of each of these books? Okay, so 564 first of all, we have to divide it by what? 3 groups. Why? Because I want to find out the cost of 3 pens which also is the same as the cost of two books. So, if I find the cost of three pens, I will also already know the cost of what? Two books, correct? So, first of all, I'm going to divide this number by three. So, I'm going to write the working here. Very small, but I hope you can see it. Five, six, four, divide by three. Will give me, you do your working, no use your handy any calculator. Don't do that, okay? That's for me and you will get $188. So $188 is the cost of 3 pens, which is also happens to be the cost of 2 pens and 2 books. Okay, so what we have to do now is simply divide the number of the cost by 2 books because that's the same as the cost of 3 pens. So we divide it by 2 and we will simply get 1 of these books, which happens to be $94, also another very expensive uh, an expensive uh, book. So 188 divided by 2, just checking, $94, which is correct. Alright, good job. If you got that one right, I'm going to give you a big high five because you are a math prodigy. Good job. Alright, and so that brings me to the quote of the week. The quote of the week is, just because a goalkeeper is standing in front of you, it doesn't mean you can't score. <laughs> Alright, so imagine, have you ever watched a, a soccer game before? Or maybe you've played netball or whatever it is. Remember there's a goalkeeper in front of you? Now that goalkeeper is meant to stop you from scoring. But some of you are letting that goalkeeper get the best out of you. Some of you are allowing that goalkeeper to have all the power. We should not have that. What we should remember is that we are a striker. You know, We are the goal scorer. And our job is to score a goal no matter what is standing in front of our way. Now in that case, it could be fear. right? It could be doubts. It could be a wor being worried. Okay, all these things are your goalkeepers. But what I want you to do, what one what Coach Saifu wants you to do is to just stare that goalkeeper in the eye and find a way to score. 
there is always a way. Alright? So with that, this is Coach Saifu signing off saying you are a math prodigy. Good job.